Hello, hello. Hey, this is Tin Man. I uh, haven't been on live for a long time, so uh, just want to say hi and uh, want to try something today. Okay, so uh, let's see. Everything is set up. Uh, let me see how I screw up this time. Uh, okay, hold on one second. My group members done. Okay, all right. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> so um, please type hi if you are on the on the live because I want to see if uh, you can see my uh, see my face <laughs> and uh, we'll just make sure I'll let you know what I'm going to do today in a minute. Just to see. If, uh, OK. Am I on? Am I on? Yes, I am on. I'm in. Okay, cool. Let me just put this up. Put this up. Let me see how I screw up this time. <laughs> All right. So, uh, welcome to the Facebook Live today. I'm Tin Man Lee. Um, first of all, I want to welcome all of you. Um, I saw that we have 11,000 members now in the award winning Facebook group, which is uh, pretty awesome. And uh, never expected that when I started the group back in, uh, was, was it like in February or January? Uh, so, so many great photos uh, on the group. And even though if you have watched the welcome video, I mentioned that you guys can tag me and then I'll give you feedback. And I <laughs> haven't done that much because uh, things have been crazy. If you know what's going on, uh, just got back home from the uh, evacuation of the fire. So it's been crazy. But anyways, hey, Martin. Um, so, all right. So what, what I'm going to do today is um, I finally received uh, the new book from Federico Veronici and today I'm going to do the unwrapping. <laughs> um, so uh, let's see what, what it is, right? So in, in right on my desk here, uh, I have this one right here. Look at that. So oh, is it here? Right. Yeah, this is better right here. So, um, so this is uh, uh, the book that I just received uh, from Federico Veronici, uh, his new book called uh, One Life. And look at that, it's, it's pretty big. And I actually have two books here. So this is uh, one of them. And then uh, there's also this one. Okay, right here, look at that. So uh, so this one here, uh, One Life, Federico, and Nishi, and number 29. And what, this, what, what that means is uh, this is a, I think it is a special edition one. So, uh, so I have two here. So this one and this one. So let's see what is going to be. So, okay, I'm going to open this one first, okay? This is the number 29. I think this is the limited edition one. So, uh, all right. So you guys are ready, right? So let's see what, what is inside here. Let me just put this book on one side. All right. And then let's just, where's my... Okay, my knife here. Um, so, okay, hold on one second. Let me try something. Um, see if this one works. Yes, okay, see? <laughs> okay, so uh, I was just setting up these two cameras and see if you can hear it. So this is the uh, One Life book. And uh, how do I open it here, I think? Let's hope that I don't ruin the book here uh, okay i think we are good here and then it's it's just a very beautiful book here all right I'll just throw it in the ground <laughs> on the ground and uh, as you can see here number 29 so i think this is the 29th edition here and uh, i don't know if federico is in here so Look at that, it's uh, very nice. I think it is uh, uh, cotton. And uh, let me just take it out here. Look at that, look at that. So uh, this is the book. Oh, there's uh, paper right here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> is this a, I think this is a certificate or something. Oh yeah, okay. So uh, there's a print here uh, by Federico. That's, that's fantastic. 
that's a beautiful photo of a, a lion right here. I think uh, this is given uh, when you purchase a limited edition print. So, oh, okay, look at that. Also, we have uh, Federico's uh, signature here. Okay, all right, awesome. Thank you, Federico. Um, so, yeah, this is an amazing print. Look at uh, this black and white. is pretty amazing. So, without further ado, <laughs> so this is very nice here. And then we have the box here. Uh, and we have the book so um so if you have uh, not seen my interview with Federico, you can go to uh, youtube.com slash tinmanly i have a two-hour interview with Federico veronici uh, about why he decided to make this book and why the name uh, one life here which is uh, a really really meaningful meaningful concept and uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so it turns out my email is coming up. <laughs> so uh, anyway, so um, uh, so this is the cover. Anyway, so let's let's begin. Let's let's take a look. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so that's uh, Federico's uh, autograph. Um, so there is a limited edition of fifty. I think it is already sold out within the first hour for the limited edition ones. And uh, and I think this is uh, Tim right here. You know uh, the famous elephant uh, Tim who just passed away. Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry about, about that. Uh, thank you, Heather. By the way, <laughs> I just got the email from Heather. Hey, Tony. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's beautiful. Look at that. The, the texture. Look, let me just take a look at the print. Yeah, it's just it's just gorgeous. So this is um, uh, one of the. Uh, oldest and uh, oldest elephants um, I think in Kenya or maybe in the world longest uh, tusk right you know when you uh, I didn't know before when uh, before I went to Africa to see my uh, first wild elephants so when we see an elephant right we we just look at how big how small it is right but really uh, if you are a more advanced photographer you decide you 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 know when to look focus on how long the tusk you know uh, look at that like it's it's insane. Like this one is basically hanging on the ground on on, the, on like uh, this long. And and now like from now on, when you look at an elephant, you immediately look at how long this tusk uh, are, and and you know how how old or how powerful they are. And so Tim is uh, an iconic elephant, and um, we had a big privilege to be able to see him uh, when I was in Federico's trip last year and within just a few months after that trip uh, I think uh, Tim died of uh, natural causes so it's uh, uh, very sad but it's also um, good to know that the elephant lived uh, his whole life uh, without poaching or anything and just uh, led to a natural death so that's that's very good so let's let's keep on going hey Joanna um, oh so that so so yeah so Federico said five years after light and dust um, he wrote this book so you know uh, light and dust is uh, Federico's first book and I had a copy as well um, so anyway if you want to look at get the link of these books it is in uh, tinmanly.com slash gear you just scroll all the way down and there's a link to get uh, light and dust but not this one this one you might have to contact Federico to to do that and I'll add the link after that uh, after the talk so uh, so I saw these uh, two photos and Federico actually explained uh, about the concept of this book uh, and these two photos is really one of the reasons he started this book, the whole concept. I think it is one of the most beautiful concepts uh, if you are a nature lover and wildlife photographer. So anyway, so yeah, so I got this print here. Um, I, I'll just go quick. So um, just uh, I was just curious about looking at... Uh, at the texture of the the black and white it's just gorgeous gorgeous okay so i'll just flip through it i'm not going to uh, uh, let you all uh, i mean uh, i want you guys to have the surprise i'm like i'm just gonna go through it very quickly about the book it's just uh, gorgeous beautiful beautiful print yeah the sharpness is amazing um texture everything uh because you know for for a book to to um, for black and white to uh, to be good, I usually just look into the the 
the blacks and see if there are a lot of uh, uh, noise and salt and pepper noise and all. It looks like uh, this one is uh, really good. <laughs> okay, uh, sorry, I kept on having those uh, popping up. Uh, time to get my trash back. Okay, uh, <laughs> doing that. All right, so let's let's keep going. So, yeah, look at that. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And oh, there's some, some color photos too. So uh, Federico is uh, one of the best, uh, if not the best in um, getting the, um, how, do I, how do I turn this off? Hold on one second. <laughs> I think you wouldn't, you wouldn't do that unless I do this uh, thing here. Okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, so Federico is one of the best in, um, uh, incorporating the whole habitat into the animal to tell a story. So, uh, so these are perfect for big prints like this. So, the, you know, like this, I think is 12 by 12. So it's 24 by 12. So you get big prints right here. So uh, I think this is Luluka, right? If Federico is here. So um, when we were in Af uh, in Kenya last year, uh, we were very lucky to actually saw Luluka with uh, her cubs. Uh, uh, we got photos of uh, Luluka carrying the cub in, in her mouth. And uh, this photo was taken years ago when Luluka was still a leopard cub. So, so that... Uh, you know, being a wildlife photographer, this is uh, one thing that uh, really, you know, warm our hearts. Like for example, I spent years uh, photographing bears in Alaska, and uh, every year we went back, we see the same bear, and we started to have this kind of special bonding with them. And I think this is a very good way of healing for us. You know, in life, there's just so many things, so many bad things happen, unexpected things and all. But when you go back to the nature, when you look at these wild animals, right, each, each year, you know, there's new cubs coming up and, you know, nature doesn't really change, but it's changing all the time. And it's just such a uh, refreshing, calming way for us to uh, deal with everyday stuff. So, so yeah. So, all right, let's, let's keep going. Uh, okay, this is all very good. Look at that. It's just magical with uh, with the nice blur in the background, create three dimensional feel of the photo, and look at this. Like, uh, like I, I can caption this right. Uh, can't wait to be king, right? <laughs> this is a very nice photo right here. And let me just um, oh look at that. So this is uh, and anyone know what this animal is and what species this animal is? Uh, so this is uh, a caracal, <laughs> and um, at first I thought. Um, Seeing a caracal is um, as rare as seeing like a wild lynx or a bobcat, uh, but turn out that seeing a caracal is probably even more difficult um, in in the way. So Federico was in uh, Africa for many many years, and I think he only had uh, very few encounters. And that year, I think he had an encounter with the whole family. So, um, so too bad I, I knew him too late. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have been spending months uh, there. So, um, so again, yeah, like this kind of uh, photography is uh, very new to a lot of us, uh, probably in the United States, um, uh, because if you're not in places like Alaska or Yellowstone, it is very difficult to get this kind of uh, landscape. A lot of us, when we shoot like foxes or owls, they are usually unfortunately in an urban setting and uh, it is very difficult to harmonize this urban setting into the animal so so it is not that i don't like to take this kind of photos it's just that it is very important it's very difficult uh, especially in los angeles and places like that so that's why when we have the chance to go to africa when we have the chance to go to antarctica you know alaska and yellowstone uh, if we were able to find a location where the habitat actually helps to tell the story like this, uh, it, it would be uh, much better. Yeah, look at look at this one. Uh, we'll just take a, take a closer look. Look at these textures of the rocks, and then the the leopard is in the middle. It's just like it, you just would be amazed by the evolution uh, of animals, and I mean the, this earth, right? How these animals blend in perfectly, and uh, I mean the quality is just stunning. Like this texture and the and the lights, um, the 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 video here can't even do it justice uh, for for the photo right here. And 
Yeah, look at that. It's a giraffe right here. And uh, like the whole composition is just amazing. I hope you guys are enjoying this um, this thing. I'm just happy to be able to um, to not not just receiving the book, but uh, uh, I, I just had a long talk uh, with Federico uh, yesterday and the day before. He, he, he was just such a kind soul, you know. Um, and uh, there is one thing that I respect people the most, uh, which is they... They don't just talk about it. They 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 actually take action to do it. So Federico, he was from Italy. He studied uh, economics as an undergrad, and when he decided that he wanted to become a wildlife photographer, he not only uh, went to Kenya to take photos. He actually uh, gave up his full time job and he he learned uh, the local language. <laughs> it's really amazing. I think he was one of the only guys who do that. And he got his uh, license to uh, to to drive in the park uh, as a uh, like tour leader, and he actually spent every day to 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 live in 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 those uh, in in Canada, live in the like Maasai Mara and take photos like that. And uh, it's just pretty amazing that kind of courage. <laughs> so you know when you see all the uh, local. Uh, uh, Maasai Mara warriors and the local uh, 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 tour uh, leaders, and then you see this Italian guy <laughs> among them talking in uh, what was the language of that? Um, the the local language I, I forgot, uh, uh, and it's just pretty amazing. I mean, uh, so um, yeah, I mean, it was just this these are all amazing photos. Uh, I, I yeah, so this is in I think this is in Amboseli. Uh, I was very lucky to uh, to be able to spend the time with him, um, and we went to this uh, this this dry lake. Actually, it was just amazing. You know, like living in Los Angeles, we never see this vast landscape. Uh, so I highly recommend you guys to go to Masai Mara if you have time. So the reason I'm looking at this book, uh, let me just go further, further away. Uh, it's just amazing. They are most mostly uh, black and white photos. And Federico actually explained uh, to us why he uh, spent a lot of time onto black and white in the interview. So make sure you don't miss it. YouTube.com slash Tin Manly. Go back to that interview to check it out. I was just curious to see um, if I can find... Uh, some of the photos that uh, that uh, we actually were able to witness in the in the place, and uh, you know, uh, I look at this; <laughs> it's just stunning photos, and uh, like you know, the the beautiful leading lines and then everything, like leading line, like, like this one. He talked about this one in the interview as well, you know. Um, so sometimes it takes a lot of courage to shoot. A big elephant in small in frame, right? I mean, how many people dare to do that, right? They always do this wide angle, like in your face photo when they have encounter an elephant. But if you can put this big group of, uh, is it called herd of harem? <laughs> I don't know how they call the group, a big number of elephants, you know, in uh, uh, in in the frame like that. It just makes this whole landscape even more amazing. It almost looks like they're walking on Mars, right? Is uh, and look at that. Like we talk about this photo as well in the interview, and uh, it's just moving. Like when we were in Amboseli in Kenya, when we saw these many big numbers of elephants marching together, it, it was just mind blowing. I don't even know how to describe that feeling because I I thought okay we'll be lucky if um, I was able to see one elephant. <laughs> that's that's my my dream to see a wild elephant in my life. And then you saw this like fifty of them walking towards you, you know, from a distance, in the landscape that you can't even see. Uh, like like it's infinite. Like you can see from to the to the end. It's just uh, uh, fascinating. So yeah, I I'm just gonna go through it very quickly. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, I look at that. This is <laughs> like, like, this is like a scene in, uh, in the Lion King, right? And, uh, and these, these photos, yeah, just, I highly recommend, oh, look, yeah, this is the one. So, uh, this is the Caracal that I talk about. Uh, so you guys definitely should, uh, check out, I think the black and white works really well with the Caracal and, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. So. So that's the photo that I was talking about. So uh, you guys know about, I just mentioned about uh, 
uh, Luluka, right? The, the the cup that was lying on the mother's back, and uh, and we were able to witness this moment together. I was uh, uh, right behind Federico uh, when we witnessed this. So so this is not Luluka. This is Luluka, right? So she has already grown to become a mother, and she has her her own cup, and then she was walking, and we were blessed with uh, nice light. So so can you even imagine that feeling? Uh, like I was so excited, but for Federico, she saw Luluka grew from a baby into uh, the mother, very protective mother, right? Really smart, look at the eyes, right? looking at the surrounding and walking, and it's just, uh, and, and look at this one. It's just, uh, oh, <laughs> sorry about uh, all the messages. I should uh, uh, take, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so highly recommend this book. It's just uh, really mind blowing about uh, what you what you can see here. Oh, this one, yes, this is the one that I want to talk about. Look at this one right here. Um, we were in Ambuseli together, and uh, and then suddenly we uh, we saw a lot. Uh, like, like the morning was kind of doomed because uh, it was cloudy, and all of a sudden, you know, uh, we were we were at a, on a, at a field, and this mist just came out, and I said, like, wow, this is really magical. And then there's suddenly there's an elephant came out with the 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 egret, or is it the cattle egret? Uh, like on on that, they say they're, they're buddies, right? They both of them watching the sunrise. And when the sun just pop out from the cloud, this whole mist, this fog and mist becomes so magical. And um, and then, you know, like with this, all these clouds and everything, and I was just blown away by that. And uh, and we had probably about 20 minutes of this magic. There's another elephant on the left side also walking together, and then they eventually met. And, uh, you know, this whole scene, and after that, I asked Federico, is that, like, this is magical. Does it happen all the time? <laughs> and he said, no. And guess what? He included this special photo on the book too. So so that's why it has such a, uh, like, I, I was just so grateful to have this chance to um, to see this master photographer, like grandmaster photographer working his magic here. Uh, and uh, very glad to be uh, part of it in, in this one. So, um, so, so Ambuseli, if you guys don't know, is... Uh, very close to Masai Mara. It's about three hours drive. Um, so, you know, in Kenya now, now I've become kind of like a mini expert, right? There are several famous uh, parks, Masai Mara, Amboseli, Samburu, and then there's other places like Savo and, and all these, right? If you haven't watched uh, Out of Africa, I recommend you to watch that classic movie too. And you hear a lot of uh, names uh, about that, but Look at that, <laughs> and uh, it, so I, I I just highly recommend it. So so this is uh, by the way, uh, this let me just move my camera up to see my face here. Um, yeah, so this this book is the the limited edition print. I think this is already sold out, uh, but you can still get uh, this one the 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 this one right here that I haven't opened. I think. Um, so this one right here, um, so this is the um, the regular copy, uh, the limited edition sold out. So I think it is worth more than ten thousand dollars now. <laughs> uh, and uh, so so this one I think you can still purchase. I think it is the, the same paper, the same uh, content, and um, yeah, uh, really really meaningful book. And uh, and if you don't know who Federico is, uh, he um, he won the uh, grand prize of Nature's Best Photography in 2011. And if you guys have heard about uh, the Remembering Wildlife, uh, is it called Initiative? Uh, you know, every year they, every few years they make a photo book uh, called like Remembering Lions, uh, Remembering Elephants, uh, Remembering Cheetahs, right? Great Apes. Those those books, right? Right now, I think they have four books. And Federico's photos made the cover of two of them: the Remembering Lions and Remembering Elephants. So, can you even imagine this this kind of recognition of his photos? So, so yeah. So, anyway, so um, highly recommend it. I mean, he's a wonderful guy and a one like wonderful person. First of all, like deep love with the animals, and uh, also probably the best uh, photographers that I know of. So, yeah. 
highly recommend you guys to to get this book. I don't get a commission from him, by the way. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, I think who who told me that? Actually, it was Paul McKinsey who uh, who told me about Federico's Like and Dust book uh, that came out a few years ago, and so I purchased it, and I was uh, completely blown away. And but then I mean I have known Federico's name for many years. If you have uh, watched my uh, webinar before. Uh, about how his photos moved me and uh, how it really kickstarted my photography. So, uh, uh, so yeah. Uh, okay, all right. So, yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoy this. And uh, so, so I saw that uh, Tony was asking, "Is this the book you got extra and are giving it away to persons whose name start with T and R?" Uh, I don't quite understand. <laughs> okay, and now I got it. <laughs> oh God, you guys are funny. I love that. And then Maria. Okay, <laughs> um, I don't know. Well, this book, you know, like I, I actually received the book two days ago, and I didn't open it because it's just so packaged so nicely, and I don't want to open it. And uh, and oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that. Uh, so besides the photos, uh, I think Federico also uh, wrote uh, some stories. Uh, was it? Well, not a lot of stories, but uh, in the pre right the, the preface. Uh, it was an afternoon, December twenty seventeen. Uh, yeah. Well, there's some 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 stories and, and stuff too. So some text and 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 all. I think if you guys are interested in learning how to evoke emotion in photos, I mean, there's not any books better than this one right here. And the good thing is uh, Federico is in this group, in our award-winning photographers group. So uh, so if you have any questions about the book, about some techniques or about something, my, my, my tips to you is uh, leave your comments here. And very likely he will see it and then reply personally to you. So, so just think about how amazing this world is. I mean, uh, and, 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 and because of the pandemic, uh, I think he may have more time instead of being in the field to be, uh, to be around on the, on the internet to, uh, uh, to, to answer our questions. So, yeah. So, uh, I'll make sure he, he comes to visit this thread, uh, this, 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 this videos and then, uh, get back to your questions. So be careful what you ask. <laughs> uh, Hey Maria, uh, <laughs> well, I thought you guys have already purchased the book, right? Uh, uh, what is it? Is it called books.federicofernici.com? I think, but uh, I'm 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 not hundred percent. Uh, so, hey, Joanna. For yeah, well, uh, you know, uh, my dream is to uh, to be able to see a caracal in 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 the wild. So hopefully uh, that will happen one day uh, with some kittens, you know, <laughs> playing in front of a rainbow. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, so hey Ross, uh, so so hope you guys enjoy my uh, unwrapping of the book. And if you guys love uh, uh, like this kind of videos where I talk about books, I have I, you, you guys know I right? I'm kind of like a like obsessed with uh, reading books. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed it, uh, uh, I I can talk more about some of my uh, favorite books and uh, go through it and and let you know what I learned from those uh, if you're interested. So so yeah so uh, so anyway so this is it for for today. Hope you guys uh, enjoy it and uh, and and if you are still not buying this book, uh, then. Uh, then I'm angry. <laughs> then I'll be angry. So this is this is just too good. Um, and um, and I hope that uh, we are all carrying this book. Uh, I mean, this I, he spent how many years? Fifteen years? Twenty years? I, every day in Kenya, uh, in in the field uh, to take these photos, and it's full of love. And uh, yeah, so. Um, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, I, I will try to. Uh, yeah, things are kind of uh, crappy these days for me. So uh, I'll try to do more live. Uh, it's good to see you guys too. So uh, so yeah. Uh, hey Michelle, uh, share the title. So so the title is called uh, One Life. Uh, oh, the book is not gonna look like this. Oh, too bad. <laughs> it's it's already sold out. That uh, this is the the uh, limited edition fifty fifty uh, prints. I don't know. You might have to check with him about that. Uh, but this one. 
this one is the same book basically. It's just the different covers, right? This one is like cloth cover, and this one is hard cover. It's called uh, "One Life" by Federico Veronese, and uh, I think uh, the link is uh, I, I've books or uh, book book dot Federico Veronese dot com. But uh, I'll have to check with him. I think it is. Uh, what time is it now? Uh, it's like mid like. 2 a.m. in his time, so he's probably not gonna get your mess uh, message until later today. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, Carol Cow sleeping Tony. Yeah, that would be that would be good. Like close up, right? With uh, with some babies uh, on both the sh shoulders of the mother and uh, all sleeping together, right? Just like my bobcat photo, right? Uh, that would be good. Uh, hey, hey, Lola. Hey, good to see you. Um, so the name, yeah, one life. Uh, uh, what what is the link of that book? I don't know. Where's Federico? <laughs> Let, let's wake him up, right? Uh, well, uh, you you get a notification later, but um, but just go to Federico Veronese. You know the this name right here. Uh, type type in his uh, his his name dot com. Uh, no space in the middle in between, and uh, in in his uh, website there should be a link to buy this book. So, uh, so yeah, so yeah, so good to see you, and thank you so much, guys, for 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 stopping by it just uh it's very good to see you so so all right uh, all right all right so again um uh if you have any questions about the book or or any any of the photos any questions regarding photography it is a it is a very good opportunity to type your questions and comments here and who knows maybe federico will come and answer you <laughs> yeah all right so see you guys and uh hope to see you guys again soon all right Where's the where's the finish button? Oh, right here. Okay, all right. See you guys.